Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my December favourites. The year is almost up. My gosh, I can't even explain. But yeah, let's just jump into my favourites because I do have quite a few today. I guess we'll start off with the one skincare item. I've fallen back in love with the Embryolisse La Cream Concentrate Moisturiser. Um, I don't know why I stopped using this, but as you can see, I've used a decent amount because like the container's all flat and stuff now. I love this stuff. It's great for hydrating the skin and it's also really nice for priming the skin for putting like foundation over the top or whatever. I think it's a really, really nice moisturizer. It's not too expensive and you do get a decent amount as well. Um, I do know that Beauty Bay now stocks this. So if you're looking to buy this and you don't want to pay shipping, definitely check Beauty Bay. So my next favorite is a primer. This one's from Too Faced and it's their Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, electrolytes and probiotic and it's silicone free. Now this primer isn't a pore filler, it's not an oil controlling primer. All it really is is a nourishing primer that's supposed to nourish the skin. And I just find that it's really, really nice to put over my moisturizer but underneath a pore filling primer. I don't know, I've just been really, really liking it. And I have made a significant dent into this one as well. And I really like this. It smells amazing, has a pump, it's great. I love it. This is a new product to Happy HQ. Um, this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil Bronzing Liquid. So basically it's just a bronzing liquid that you put on your face and then you blend out and it's basically a liquid bronzer. It's super, super thin in consistency. It literally feels like you have nothing on your skin and it blends out like a dream. You have no idea. There's only one shade of this, but I really, really, really do like it. I've also been loving to liquid highlight as well as liquid bronze. So this is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator. It's just a nice, pretty champagne, champagne, champagne bronzy color, which I love putting on the tops of my cheekbones, underneath and also over foundation. I think it's really, really nice. If you're putting it underneath, I just apply it with my fingers. If you like to apply your highlighter over the top, I would use either a beauty blender or a stippling brush. If you hear any background noise, I'm sorry, I have to have the window open because it is ridiculously hot. Mm. I have a concealer favorite for the month. This is the EX1 Delete Concealer. I have mine in the lighter shade, which is D100. It looks like this. The only bad thing that I can say about this concealer is the shade range. I think there's only three colors and this one is the lightest. Um, I can only use this when I'm at my darkest. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's probably the only bad thing that I'd say about it. It's super thin in consistency. However, it's so high coverage. I don't really get it. I hope they bring out more colors because this stuff is absolutely amazing and it's so affordable. So ridiculously affordable. I found a new favorite brow gel. This one is by L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal products. They're so good. Um, this is the Brow Artist Plumper. And basically, it's just a little brow gel that you can buy at the drugstore. Now the reason why I like this one more than my Maybelline one is purely for the brush. The brush is way better shaped. It's more the style of Benefit Gimme Brow opposed to that weird ball shape that the Maybelline one has. This is just way easier to use and just the feeling of my eyebrows is a lot better with this than with the Maybelline one. So yeah, if you were debating between this one and the Maybelline one, I would go with this one. Um, if you're curious, I have the darkest shade, which is medium slash dark. I do need to say, though, it doesn't fill in the brows like Benefit Gimme Brow does. It's definitely more of a brow gel that just has a slight tint to it. So if you do want something that actually you can just sweep and it's filled in your eyebrows, that's not for you. But if you want a tinted brow gel, that is a nice... And I just stopped recording. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a nice one to get if you just want a brow gel and not more of a brow filler. So I have been loving doubling up on the bronzer. So I love using this as my liquid bronzer, but I love using this as my powder bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. You, you must have heard it a million times before, but this is what it looks like in the pan. And I love applying it with my EcoTools domed bronzer brush. I love this brush with this bronzer because the brush is relatively dense like it's not too dense to the point where it can't buff out anything but it is hard enough that it won't just like flop around 
So I love it because it gives a really, really nice harsh line, but it does blend as you go. So it just kind of, it's really, really hard to explain. It's just a really, really nice combo. I never thought that I would love a blush this much, but I absolutely adore this blush. This is the MAC blush in the shade Warm Soul. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like here, and it's absolutely beautiful. It just gives the most beautiful luminosity to the skin, and it's not too pink, which I like. I'm not wearing it today. I decided to try out a different blush. I don't love it as much as this one, though. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Last product for face is the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder. I don't know why I like this product, but I know that I reach for it over any other powder that I own. And that is a big thing for me, considering I do have such a large collection and I do have quite a lot of powder. I don't know why I've been reaching for this one the most, but it does the job. It sets my makeup. My makeup lasts a decently long time and it doesn't make me look cakey or patchy or anything like that. So yeah, I like it. It's translucent. More chance than not, it's going to work for you. Um, for eyes, I have two products. This is the Josie Moran Coconut Water Eyeshadow. It just looks like this. This is in the shade Rio de Rose Gold. And I just love this. It's very, very, very beautiful and it's very, very, very unique. I don't own any product like this whatsoever in my collection. I absolutely adore it and I want to get like a million more of these. These are so, so, so cool. And then I've been loving the Rimmel Scandalized Cold Gel Eyeliner Pencil. I don't need to talk about this for too long because I talk about it all the time. Love this stuff. This one's in the shade Brown. Just a beautiful, beautiful brown color with gold sparkles in it. It's great. Love it, love it, love it. So this is the Savvy by DB Ultra Matte Lip Color in the shade Light Dot Dot Camera. It's actually the color that I have on my lips at the moment. I love this. It's super, super matte, which I love, but it's not the drying matte. It's just a matte finish. Or at least I don't find it drying. I love this stuff. The color's great. It's super affordable. I don't really know what to, much more to say about it. It's really, really good. So on the opposite end of the price spectrum, I have the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. These are absolutely beautiful. Every single one that I've tried has been balls. Like, I'm not even kidding. balls. You need to try them. You need them in your life. They're the best things ever. So creamy, so soft, so smooth, so pigmented, lasts a long time, good color variety. I don't think you can go wrong. I don't think you can go wrong. These are bomb.com. The packaging is amazing. It's magnetized. Like, look at this. That will never get old for me. Like, these are so, so good. Worth every single cent. I love them. Okay, guys. So, that's the end of my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Short and sweet, I know. But that's how I like to keep it. Um, yeah. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Comment down below what your favorites were for the month. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.